Hello everyone, Chuck Northside Guy. In today's episode, we're going to feature autographed baseball cards that are part of my collection. And I'm going to share with you my mixed success getting the grade of the cards that I love, of the players that I, in many cases, admire. First up is one of my childhood heroes, Pete Rose, in an absolutely dramatic pose here. That photo to me just shows the Charlie Hustle uh, that Pete Rose was known for before the gambling. Love this card. Great example of that kind of hustle and spirit that he brought to the game. Bought this raw, submitted it. Very disappointed to get a, a, a nine on the autograph. Um, the autograph, as I look at it, and as I have since learned, um, it, it has a kind of a faded, not a consistency to um, the letters. It just isn't uh, well pressed, uh, and that was disappointing to me, but I still love this card. It's uh, number three of five. I've had better success when I purchased cards online of other heroes. And this is a 2017 Topps Diamond, Carl Yastrzemski, one of one. Nine and a half, ten on the uh, autograph. Just love that card. Love that uh, example of Carl Yastrzemski. I saw him in the first baseball game I ever saw that my father took me at uh, the old Comiskey Park here in Chicago. Next up, Mookie Betts, rookie card, rookie auto. Purchased this at the height of Mookie Fever over the winter after the MVP. Uh, no regrets in spite of the disappointing follow-up season. My kids love Mookie Betts, and uh, so I'm glad to have this part of my collection. I think he has a, a wonderful career ahead of him, but uh, a good cautionary note to me to uh, not overpay, and that's the risk you have with the uh, eBay purchases. <clears throat> Next up is a gorgeous Sandy Koufax from the 2017 Stadium Club. I got this raw from eBay. The seller had um, submitted the um, redemption card, received it back with the top sticker, and I purchased it that way. I had uh, uh, received also the redemption card with it. So I, I had good reason to believe it was not touched. However, it came from the uh, factory with corners of nine, surface of nine, and edges of nine. So I was disappointed. Uh, great card. I still love it, but uh, would have liked a 10. I know I sound like I'm whining. Next up is uh, another childhood hero, and this chart I purchased raw off of eBay, but I got a, a pristine. Uh, this is number 17 out of 25, Reggie Jackson from the 2018 Diamond Icons. And as you can see on the back there, Centering is 10, edge is 10, surface 10, but the corners are nine and a half. Not too bad. I mean, obviously, what am I saying? The corner is nine and a half. This is one of those thick stock cards. And I'm going to show you a few examples now of other thick stock cards that I purchased that um, did not come in as, as hoped. Uh, here's everyone's favorite, Mariano Rivera. Gorgeous car. This is from this year's 2019 Tops Tier 1 series. Uh out of 30. Uh, you can see I got a nine. I was disappointed, would have liked this to be a nine and a half, who wouldn't, but still a very special card in the collection. Next up, I'm gonna show you a, a couple really quick in a row from the same Topps Tier 1. This is a thicker stock, and I purchased them raw off of eBay. <clears throat> and I, I believe I purchased them early enough after the packs have been opened, so I, I, I don't think they had been handled too much but in this case, the corners are an eight and a half. And I just wonder if the thicker stock makes getting nine and a half corners, um, if that's just too much to hope for. Uh, I'm beginning to think that is. And so for the thicker stock, I'm just wondering if I buy those cards, um, you know, already graded in the, in the grade that I want. Of course, I'm going to pay more. This one, boy, this is a disappointment. I may just crack it and, and, and get it out of this. The corners in this case were seven and a half, and uh, I've never received a grade that low on any of the modern cards I have. Um, uh, just disappointing. I love this card. Bob Gibson brought a ferocity and dominance to his uh, performance, 
and uh, I really wanted an autographed card of his, and, and um, I just don't know if I can keep looking at this in, a, in my uh, permanent collection here. Next up is an Aaron Judge from 2017 Bowman Chrome. I purchased this as is off of eBay. Uh, at the same time, I was also looking at his rookie card, Bowman Rookie Auto, and at the time, for whatever reason, I thought it was too much money at around five, six hundred dollars. And of course, his rookie auto is way over that now. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, didn't. Uh, and that's another lesson learned. But still, I just love this card. I like Aaron Judge a lot. Here's another thick stock card of a player that uh, I admired when I was a boy, Ron Guidry. I had a whale of a time finding an autograph card of his that I liked. Um, this is uh, one of, I think it's well, one of 99, so not that rare. But I just love the, the look of this card. <clears throat> and here I got an eight and a half on surface. I really would like your advice on how I can judge surface before choosing to submit cards. I just don't know what to look for. I mean, obviously scuffs and dents and things like that, but what else? I just couldn't see it on it, and I don't know why I got an eight and a half and um, would like to avoid making that mistake again. Love this card. I got caught up in rookie fever, uh, rookie of the year potential fever. Purchased this card for around 300 during the off season over the winter. It's a Victor Robles 2016 Bowman Chrome. Nine and a half, ten. Uh, he's not a finalist. Alonzo, of course. Tatis has excited uh, everybody before his injury. Uh, Robles, uh, not bad, but not rookie of the year caliber. Uh, I'm going to hang on to this card, but it's a good cautionary note for me not to just chase the latest sensation. There's risk there that I don't know if I'm willing to take. Same damn thing with this card. Uh, it's Miguel Andahar last year. Gold, Bowman Chrome Gold. Loved it. Auto. Paid around 300 on this. Um, and, uh, you know, in this case, the centering was off. Um, again, I don't know what uh, centering is. Do they take, uh, you know, calipers or something and, and measure in millimeters? It looks really centered to me. Uh, I just don't understand. But <clears throat> I like the card. Uh, I think he has a, an exciting career ahead of him. Uh, but disappointing grade. So... Hope you enjoyed the cards. Hope you ignore my Debbie Downer tone on some of them. It's been a mixed journey thus far for me as I purchase autos. Um, I have a lot to learn, which is why I'm producing this video and, and hoping that maybe uh, those of you watching might offer me some lessons learned or tips so that I can collect the, the cards I enjoy, the autos I enjoy, uh, but maybe have a better success to make sure I get the grade I like without overpaying. <laughs> it's a lot to stitch together. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed. Take care, everyone.